All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It's battle report time again, and I have the Blood Angels out. So what have I got in the list? Um, I'm thinking of going into some tournaments again this year, and I don't know if anyone knows this, but the only army I ever use in tournaments is Blood Angels. It's like a representation of my favorite army in the chapter. Um, so I'm sort of tightening this up to try and get it ready for that tournament level again, see if I can fight it out. So let's go through what I've got in the list. So to start with, I've got a Gravis Captain, he just comes how he's equipped. Then I got one Smash Captain. Now he's going to have the Angel's Wings uh, relic. He's also got his hammer. He's going to have Death Visions of Sanguinius. Um, so he's going to be my drop down, charge something, delete it. Then I got another Smash Captain. He's just in there just to support. I'm not giving him anything special. Um, then my fourth HQ. I've got a lieutenant, and I'm going to try him out with the um, auto bolt, the master crafted auto bolt rifle. Um, three shots now, damage two. I just want to try it out. He can also punch on in combat, but I don't really want him in combat. I know that sounds funny. They're being blood angels. All right, so they're the HQs. Then for troops, we got one, two. Three squads of intercessors with power fists. Now, once again, I'm going the auto bolt rifles because now they have three shots. So they're assault three. So for blood angels, I, I think that this is going to be a really good weapon because you want to be moving forward, assaulting all that sort of stuff. And you're getting an absolute, you're getting 15 shots per unit. You don't get the AP, but that's fine. It's just attrition of numbers. All right. Then in elite, we've got... An apothecary that I'm still painting up, so I apologise. I've made this guy. Um, he's getting there. Then we've got aggressors, and we've got the banner. Now that is going to be a relic. So this army, as I should say, has ten command points because I've got a battalion, a vanguard, and a spearhead. So the battalion is the three troops the Gravis Captain and the Lieutenant. Then for the Spearhead, which I think is the heavy support one, we've got this guy, and then one, two, three units of Hellblasters. Sorry about this last unit, they're getting painted up at the moment so that I've got my three units of Hellblasters. Um, all three of them are just your strength seven Hellblasters, so middle of the road, so just do work in all facets of the battle. Um, yeah, so that brings me to 1,500 points, 10 command points, spending two command points because relics and death visions are sanguineous on this guy. Um, also, just to note too, this is pretty much a whole Primaris list, which a lot of people don't like so much. Even the captains are, are made from Primaris and Terminator parts to look like they've had the Primaris upgrade, which I really like the models. So that's what I've gone with. So, all right, so what am I facing off against? To test it out, I thought I'd get my brother to come down here and play my Death Guard army. Say good day, Brad. Hello. So in this army, you've seen it on the channel before, it's, it's hard as nails. It's a battalion. We've got the Terminator Lord, the Malignant Plague Caster. Then we've got one, two, three... Um, Plague Marine squads with Blight Launcher and Plasmas on the champions. Then moving back, we've got one, two Foul Blight Spawns. Then we've got three Mythetic Blight Haulers. And then for Heavy, we've got one, two, three Blade, Plague Burst Crawlers. So there's a lot of Heavy support in this. Um, I was talking to Brad before the battle started, and just to give him an extra edge in this to make it hard for me and test out my Blood Angels, we're going to play the Relic. So he's only got one place to go with this Death Ball. So, you got any uh, things you think that you might struggle with this army, Brad? Other than those Hell Blasters. Other than those Hell Blasters, but you've got three Plague Burst Crawls, so we'll see some Heavy on Heavy action, some Elite on Elite, and um, some Brother on Brother. Literally in the game and in real life. <laughs> Alright, we'll get the uh, mission set up and we'll go at it. Alright guys, we got the battlefield set up and we're playing the relic. So if we have a quick pan over the battlefield, I've made a really industrial, uh, sort of reasonably thick terrain. But still plenty of pathways for driving vehicles around and stuff like that if we take a look. But then plenty of places to get cover and manoeuvre around. So a little bit of a city fight looking thing. Now as we've gone for the relic, that's in the centre. 
of the field. So I have set up uh, pretty much a hell blaster building. So three units of five hell blasters, one in the front balcony, one up the top, and one sort of panning down here with the banner captain, apothecary, and lieutenant there to support their massive shooting. Now we've got one, uh, two, and if we come around the front, three of the Marines with the fists and auto bolt rifles. Then we've got a captain here running with the aggressors. I forgot to mention the aggressors now have plus one wound and plus one attack, so it'll be interesting to see how that goes. And then I've got this guy up in the sky. Now if we come around the battlefield, Brad, in tradition of this army, has made a big death bubble in here. So all the Marines and flamey guys captains and everything in there and then here to push forward he's got all his tanks so he can just come straight across here and bombard this relic and this big wall of blood angel space marines the other thing i forgot to mention is um the angels of death rule i think it's called for me so i get the plus one attack when i'm uh charging being charged or assaulting and then i think for these guys it's some sort of hatred so they get the same thing so both armies will get a bucket load more attacks as well so it'll be interesting to see how that plays out in this battle with everyone getting extra attacks and punching on a little bit harder now brad managed to set up his army first so he'll get plus one to see if he goes first so i'll roll off so i had a one and brad got a five which will be a six so i'm going to see if i can seize the initiative otherwise it'll be death guards first turn that is a two. What was that, Brad? Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> now, I have a history of not going so well with second turns, so we'll see how this goes against this army, see what I've got left, and we'll get back to his hold strong in this building. All right. All right, guys, at the end of uh, the Death Guard first turn, Brad's come out of this building and from over here, and he's made a massive push. All of these guys are pushed forward. As you can see, he's pretty much already on the relic. Um, so, psychic power wise, on his Mythetic Bite Halls here, he's cast minus one to hit, and then he, that was it pretty much for that. Shooting wise, um, every single thing in the army shot at this top unit up here of Hellblasters and killed three of them. One of them got back up and shot back at him, blowing one of them away. So, that just goes to show with the banner, with Feel No Pain, in cover, two wounds, they're really solid. Um, alright, so that's the end of that. He's got a good solid foothold, so I'm going to have to go in here and try and dig this out now. All right, I'll get back to you at the end of Blood Angel Turn 1. All right, guys, at the end of Blood Angel Turn 1, um, all my troops have made a push forward here towards the relic. Um, this sort of block in here just sort of stayed. I managed to get another guy up with my pocket theory, that sort of thing. Um, these moved over here, and obviously a smash captain's all the way over here. So that's the movement phase. Uh, shooting phase, all of my hell blasters, all three squads shot into here and took three wounds, was it, off this tank? Yeah. Yep, and then the captain assaulted and took four more wounds off. So it just goes to show how tough they are. They're just brutal tanks. Um, these guys shot a heap of assault boulders in here. I think they killed like one plague marine. And these guys shot in there as well and did nothing. They're in cover, they got feel no pain, they're tough five, so at this point in time, they're a bit rough to remove. You did try to assault them too. I did try and assault with this five man unit here and he blew away two of them with his blight launchers, which was a bit cheeky. Um, and then he even made the statement, what did you say? Oh, well you can just kill people on my turn, I get to kill people on your turn, that sounds fair. Yep, that's what he said. That's what I've got to deal with right now. Um, all right, so I've sort of backed him off this a little bit and put some pressure on him, but we'll see what happens when he has his turn. If I keep playing like this, it might not be good, but we'll see what happens. All right, guys, at the end of the Death Guard turn two, Brad has made a solid push here. He's uh, pretty much poured all over this. So he's, got, he's really got a solid grip on the relic in here, which is what we assumed would happen and this was the whole idea see if i can dig him out he's pushed all his tanks around here he done some pretty serious damage he fired a heap of them into my uh smash captain here but with me storm shield how many did i tank like a fair few yeah you took way too many well, took way too many he says and yeah, there's no feel no pain here just straight up storm shield um he ran in with his lord who i bopped on the head a few times but with a reroll and a few other things he's still in there alive um shot one of these squads down to two guys 
just picked at my Hellblasters just all over the shop. I can't even keep up with what he's doing, so I'm missing chunks out of all my Hellblaster units all over the shop. I think he's just doing it to psychologically mess with me, and it's working. Um, he killed an aggressor over here as well. So he's generally killing stuff all over the shop, but I've still got enough stuff to hit back pretty hard this turn. So I'll see what I can do, and uh, we'll get back to you. All right, guys, at the end of Blood Angel's turn two, that was my turn two, wasn't it? Yep. Um, everything's come out of this building, so we're all in this building. We've pushed forward here with all this plasma, banners, and captains. And we've shot over here and killed all of Brad's Plague Marines with the combined power of plasma and auto bolt rifles. Then we've ran in here with all the um, Blood Angels troops and punched our way through everything that was up in these rafters. So I've got three troops choices sitting on the relic at the moment. Um, they're contesting that. Then over here, these guys are still fighting. So I've taken three wounds off this guy with my Smash Captain. He lost the wound himself, so he's down to two. These guys ran into this tank and punched on with it and took three wounds off it. Didn't do a great deal. Smash Captain come down the back here, ran through this building, uh, pulverized one Mythetic Blight Hauler and took one, two wounds off another. Um, then he chomped back into me and took a couple of wounds off. So it's been a really good Blood Angels turn. He's still got three tanks on the table, but as far as troops go, he's only got one. He's got his HQ and a couple of other little doobies around. But being Brad, he's going to pull some shenanigans and see what he can do. So he'll have his turn three, see if he can't claim back the uh, centre of the board. All right, so at the end of Death Guard turn three, Brad has retaliated. Uh, he's taken this guy down to one wound with some smite action. Um, he moved his tanks around here and melted a couple of more Hellblasters. Um, then in combat... He didn't do anything here, and I bashed a couple of more wounds off one of these. And then over here, because he activated over here first, then I got a turn because no one charged, I smited his Warlord. So he lost his Warlord this round, uh, but he's still got his three heavy battle tanks. Um, pretty much none of them have even been pushed below the threshold yet. He's still got these two vehicles, and he's got HQs and other things running around. He's got a Foul Blight spawn in here. Uh, but he's, now he's got to come move me off this, so he's going to have to pull some tricky tactics and see what he can do. So I'll have my third turn, and I'll get back to his. Alright, so at the end of the Blood Angels' turn, we've had a pretty good round. So all the Hellblasters and Big Bubble here shot in here and removed one of his Plague Burst Crawlers. Then with a few excess shots we had left, we shot over here and took this one down to six. Coming around here... Um, we punched through the foul blight spawn and some other stuff and consolidated into here and then he whacked me with his plague stick and took a wound off my captain because he's nasty like that. And then over here, the combined firepower of this guy and three tactical squads all spread out in there. So three power fists running in with the new rule meant 12 power fist attacks plus this guy with the um, special rule that gives him D3. I think he had six, so it was a massive amount. All wounding really hard, smashed through the... Um, Mythetic Blight Haulers. So if you're playing Blood Angels, Power Fists all the way, they do work. Um, so, pretty much Brad's got a few bits and bobs left, so we'll see what he can do next. See if he can't just come take some stuff out, and we'll get back to you. Alright, so at the end of the Death Guard Turn 4, uh, Brad's put in a valiant effort, but it sort of has come up a bit short. So one of his Plague Burst Crawlers got annihilated genuinely by shooting at my plague, uh, sorry, my hell blasters, and then I was rolling fours, so they were getting back up and shooting him, taking him down to two, and then he thought it was a valiant effort, he was going to charge in there, and then he got smashed in the face by this captain here, who now with the new rules has seven attacks when he charges or gets charged, and a million wounds now. Um, over here, he charged in here as well after spitting stuff all over this guy, taking him down to one. Then I turned around with my thunder hammer and hit four wounds off him. And then these guys just sort of stood in a stalemate. But then we've got all these guys holding this objective and all that holding the objective. So we're going to stop the game there because... What were you going to say, Brad? I did smite your other smash captain. You did, yeah. You smited my other smash captain into oblivion so he's no longer here. So you got a bit of a moral victory there taking out one of the captains. Because I only brought how many today? 37? Five. <laughs> <laughs> so did you have a man of the match? Well, I would say these plague... Um... Plague burst crawls, yeah, they they're solid. They just take rounds, don't oh, they? What, just say 
four, made four in front of all saves against him. Yeah, what did he just take then? A, a massive, um, I think he got hit by this guy six times and... Saved five. <laughs> and he's got the relic, well not the relic, but the warlord trait that gives him plus one, so it's flat four damage. Um, for man of the match for me, I'm going to actually go with the humble intercessor squads with power fists because they pretty much started over here and have steadily made their way across pummeling people with their new assault boulders and punching people out with power fists and that's that's awesome i want to get more units of them um anything else you want to add brad uh hell are hard to kill hard to kill and they do a lot of killing <laughs> all right so if you like this guys like and subscribe and uh we'll get back to you that's uh death guard killed by my own hand so it doesn't really count all right, catches.